What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus of Core, the one who never knows best, bring you some more Dragon Ball Fighters post commentary city event. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I feel like you're such a mouthful every time I'm doing post commentary for a city mayhem run. But yes, in our last video, we kicked things off with two back with well, yeah, with with back to back victories. Um, and we proceeded on into the third round. Did I have a buy first round? I don't remember. The third or the fourth round, uh, winner side against Neo Judai, running his team of Lab Coat Hit and Majin 21. And of course, uh, as you can see, I was maintaining my team of 18 Brawlock and Trunks, my classic, my, my original season one team. Well, I say original, but the, the very first team I played uh, in DBFZ when it came out was Trunks 18 Goku Black. But uh, 18 Brawlock Trunks is the team I played uh, once Bardock came. Well, actually, okay, I played Goku Black, Bardock Trunks um, for a long time. Or no, it was it was Bardock Trunks, Goku Black. Um, but eventually I went back to Android 18 and dropped Goku Black. Uh, I want to say maybe halfway or three quarters through season one and then i stuck with that team up until really like this year that was when i started playing it a lot less but i digress point is win the tournament right now against neo jedi with his double 42 or double 42 his, his double android 21 team his android 42 team and hit but we're not off to the best of starts i'm still playing 18 product chunks uh i don't know why i just repeated that but uh 18 is down for the count so i won't be playing a whole lot of 18 but he whips the spin and i actually managed to jab punish it and then uh, going into this match I've played Neo Judai before. I would say he's absolutely the better player um, between the two of us, uh, but I have beaten him on more than one occasion. And I was like, well, if I focus up and do my best, then I could potentially, you know, make it do what it do and win this match. Um, but going into it, there was definitely a lot of people in the chat, and this was being streamed over on Bum's channel, which, by the way, links to that will be in the description down below. Which, speaking of streams, if you guys don't already follow me, you should twitch.tv slash auto support. Links always in the description down below. Uh, but links to Bump's channel will be there as well. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of people who thought that Neo was going to win this pretty free because uh, he is the better player. He by far has the better team and it just wasn't looking good for me. But of course, I've always got my supporters and my believers as well. And shout out to you guys who were in the chat uh, rooting for me, cheering me on and for saying that I could take him. As you can see, my controller was dying here as well. So pretty dangerous. But that mix up was kind of filthy. I'm being pretty successful with my side switches here with Bardock. I've gotten really consistent with that combo, um, which by the way, uh, I get asked a lot whenever I do play Bardock, how do you do that side switch? Because there's definitely a fair amount of viewers of mine who still watch me and play that character. And a lot of you play the character because of me, which is really cool. Um, but if you're struggling to, to do that side switch, Bardock actually has a couple of different ways you can side switch. The two most common ones that you will see are the one that I just did. And he has one that's even easier than that. So the easy one is that uh, when you do the J2H, um, when you knock it upward, hit up forward. So basically like jump cancel after the J2H, like when your opponent's already not there and then super dash and then you'll be using your double jump but then you'll get the side switch because he'll move forward and then super dash right um but for the one that i did which gives you a bit more damage and is more optimal like that right there what you want to do is you do jm and let both hits of the kick rock and then you want to do a slight delay with your jl uh my tip and my trick for that is that you wait until product is about parallel and directly underneath your opponent then you do the jump light uh, you jump cancel upward and forward and then you do you know your light light and then j2h and so on and so forth and if you're pretty close to the corner uh, you can do you know key blast into uh, you know your spin and whatnot uh, depending on how far you, you are you are away from the wall you might not be able to do that you'll have to do like light spin or ex spin or just a regular knockdown but yeah um it's 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 it, it takes some practice it can be a little bit finicky for you at first but once you find like the trick to the timing it, it gets a lot easier but as you can see uh, through all my talking, we actually took complete control of this match once Bardock came on the field, and we pretty convincingly beat Neo Judai in that first game. Um, yeah, uh, 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 honestly, it came as a bit of a surprise to me because, again, I, 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 I think Neo Judai is better than me, but it's not like there's a huge gap between us, right? I would just definitely give him the edge. Um, but with me playing the team that I was playing, I was like, well, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna go. He's got the superior Android, and I've got. A shell of his former self, Mr. Bardock, and never been high tier trunk. So, but you know, like I said, I, I said it in the last video. If, if you're a good enough player, this team can still work. It's not like these characters are actual garbage. I might say that about trunk sometimes, but like all these characters are playable. I think DBMZ is probably in the most balanced state it's ever been, despite uh, the, the top tiers being the top tiers. But top tiers are going to exist in every game and every version of every game, right? Um, it just kind of sucks that like some of my least favorite characters are top tier in this version. Um, and the characters who are the easiest in the game are also the strongest in the game, kind of backwards. But yeah, anyway, you can see the little float he did there. I woke up trying to reflect, but I got a key blast instead, but it actually worked out. I get the hit there off of a medium starter, 
and then I dropped it, and I ended up losing Andrew at 18 because of it. Um, that would have been the kill, uh, not the kill on, on Labco, but would have put us in a very good position. I probably would have gotten 18 out of there because she was such low health. Um, I would have done a, a ton of damage with 21, but it's unfortunate. It is what it is. Also, by the way, real quick, I just want to holla at y'all. Um, I don't know if y'all know this or not. Uh, I've been meaning to say this for a while. Frankly, I want to say it at the start of the video, but it kind of slipped my mind. Um, I know the like button's free. I just, 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 just check, just check. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, you clicked it for your boy. All right, for sure. Anyway, back to the match. Uh, you see, I get clapped up by the 21 assists. Hit converts off of that. And I've actually been playing a decent amount of hit myself lately. Well, I mean, I've always played hit, but I was playing him a lot because of a uh, Obi Assassin and uh, Wade's performance uh, performances, I should say, at uh, at UFA. Um, and he's actually, I you know, I ended up even playing him in tournament the next tournament, like the very next day. But like I said before. Uh, this was my PS4 run. This was on the 9th, and the very next day on the 10th, um, I entered the, the the PC event, and I was playing Hit Bardock Trunks that day. Um, I mean, I don't know. I was having a lot of fun playing Bardock again, and yeah, this interaction. As soon as I saw that 5M, I was like, there's no way he just did that. I knew I was dead. As soon as I got hit by that 5M, I knew I was dead. Yeah, Neil's got those. Neil's got those. An incredible combo and an incredible finish to a very one-sided dominant match from Neo Judah. It looked like he sat up, looked like he woke up. Because after I won that first game, you already know, chat was popping off. They was talking that good stuff. And Neo's definitely one of those players who uh, will allow, you know, the crowd or the audience or the chat or whatever to, like, gas him up in the sense that he loses and they talking that talk. He's like, nah, I, I got to whoop your ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he feels like he has to show out. If, if, if everybody else does root for his opponent, you feel me? And like, I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel, I feel like a lot of us are like that. That being said, he ties things up at one to one. I find the air to air knock down to Bardock assist. I keep the combo relatively simple. I mean, there's not much more done off that anyway. Let me get the knockdown in the corner, call the EX 17. He doesn't wake up spin. I get the hit, but I did not commit. I say that a lot around here. I got the dragon rush though. Knock him down again. And this time I'm just, yeah, faded it out. Get the punish. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a beam. That, that key blast was supposed to be barrier. But the thing is, it, it works out all the same because I wanted to bait out the reflect. So I still essentially did the same thing. But the point of the barrier was to bait out reflect, but I just, I got him in simple, but he got hit anyway. Um, we take a trade there. My trunks just hits him while he hits me with times of time. I'm just hanging back, letting barrier do the work for me. And then we could hit with Bardock assist, take him to the corner, knock down trunks, dragon rush for the sliding knockdown. We call the EX-17, he up text, that's fine. Force him to pop a sparking, I-5 him off rip. Big damage inbound, I'm getting both of my assists back and I have a ton of meter. Knockdown, Trunks assist, uh, Android 17, Dragon Rush, Bardock, Command Grab, Blam. Level one, into another level one, and into a level three. Um, wasn't sure if this was gonna be able to kill through the sparking because obviously the regenerative power of sparking is no joke, there's no small feat, and he does manage to stay alive, but we're in such complete control here. This is just as dominant as a, of a game for us as it was for him in the last one. And he gets hit by the Dragon Rush after I call the barrier and down goes hit and we are looking in, in, in great form, in great form. I don't remember if I said it earlier or if I was just thinking it, but I'm having a lot of fun playing Bardock again lately. Um, like I said, you know, I, I still love the character and I do still play him and I, I started playing a little bit more recently on these last few like tournaments and videos because it felt like I had people telling me that like, I got People were questioning like if I if I dropped him or why I dropped him or how come I don't play that much anymore. And I was like, no, he's still in the rotation. I just no, he just wasn't the main character I was feeling the most at the moment. So I was just playing, you know, like Android, like both the Android twenty ones or Jita or Hit. Hit's a character that I've been playing, you know, a lot for like the past year or two and trying to improve with. But um, no, Bardock Bardock is one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball. Uh, I play him in every single Dragon Ball Z game that he's in since Budokai three. Like he's always been one of my main characters in every game that I can play him in, and uh, that continues to be the case. Uh, that being said, you can see we find the final hit on his Majin 21, a couple of DHCs to do the trick. And we take things very, very convincingly 2-1 over Neo Judai. That first game, uh, we won. He took out Android 18 and it was pretty much dominance from there. Bardock barely got scratched once he came back in. Uh, he TOD'd me in game number two. And then I, I'm saying I, I, I made it do what it do in game number three. And we advanced on in the bracket. So I'll be right back with those next games. And so my next opponent was Bubbles, another Android 18 player, although one who I think uses barrier way more than I do and sometimes more effectively than I do. Also plays lap coat with the C assist and Z Broly. Z Broly, as you guys know, has been a huge kryptonite of mine. Uh, one of the characters I've always struggled against, even when he wasn't considered very good all the way back since his release in season one. Uh, and it only got worse and worse as that character got stronger and stronger. 
Um, but Bubbles, again, a player much like Neo Jedi, who I would say is probably better than me. I've played him before. I've beaten him plenty of times before. He usually has the edge. Um, and he also has a play style that I don't tend to do super well with. When I have the momentum, I can sometimes keep it. Um, yeah, very much like like Neo, I was going into this a bit apprehensive and just like, yeah, I, I got to be on my on my piece and cues. I got to be on my toes because I know Bubbles is going kind of wild out. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he was actually being very patient in the neutral, which was very surprising to me uh, how passive he was being. And ended up working out his favor. I jumped, so I wasn't able to actually punish that with a two H. And you know, the Z Broly barrier is yeah, Z Broly barrier on top of Android 18 barrier. It actually makes it very difficult to, to get a hit in on him because he's going to be very passive. You can't really use your assist or key blast or beam or anything like that to get in because obviously he's just going to neutralize it with the barrier. And then he doesn't have to take any risks, so he can just throw projectiles at you and use his key blast and whatnot. Didn't even do that side switch. That sucks. Um, and then if he does take a risk or if he does come through, he's got obviously Android 18 barrier to protect him. So it's a really smart strategy. Um, but as you can see, we do manage to find a decent hit. I had to spend my sparking, but I get 18 out of there. Uh, we do Trunks' is level 3. I'm hoping that he spends his sparking here. We just go with the safe jump, but he just reflects into the, uh, I forget the name of that move, but the, his, his Lariat. And then he calls 18 Barrier to protect himself uh, as I try to go to take my turn back, which I should have been more cognizant of. I know better. I play 18. I play the A assist as well. I do the same thing to people all the time. And 18's Barrier honestly isn't that difficult of a thing to deal with. Um, Frankly, you just do nothing or you just jump away. Uh, Key Blast and a 5 h I'm very surprised at that connected, but great call by him. Uh, he snaps in Trunks, which, I mean, it worked because he definitely, I didn't think he'd be able to recover in time, um, but he was able to twitch me for my EX flip that I did in with the JH, uh, which very, very rarely happens to me. I very rarely ever fight people who can 2H that. Um, most people, they just mash auto combo and they get counter hit for that. Uh, every once in a while, it does catch me. Um, they get lucky. And I do mean they get lucky, uh, but it does happen. The Trunks goes down for the count. Uh, an interesting decision to snap Trunks back in there, but it worked out for him. I mean, he's played me before. I mean, he knows my reputation. Everyone knows Trunks is my best character, and obviously he's my neutral because without him, without his assist, it's, it becomes that much more difficult for me. Um, but yeah, I find the hit on Android 18. Wasn't quite able to get the kill, um, but I do spend both bars and get 18 out. Bring Bardock in, run up to 14M. Uh, he delay text or whiffs, avoid the C assist, avoid the disc, I get the hit with super dash and I drop it. He does down tech mash into full combo. It's going to be a ton of damage because he has a lot of meter. It's the, uh, the Z Broly to, to uh, special cancel in. Yeah. Level three, slow level three into dragon rush, into command grab, into supers, into by Bardock. Off a down tech match. I nearly got two would off a down tech match. You hate to see it. Level one, level one, down goes Bardock. If he had more meter, or if I had more health, or if he wanted to spend a third DHC, it practically would have been a TOD. Maybe even would have been a TOD. Uh, yeah, he goes for round start, jump command grab, which actually does manage to catch me. I don't even remember what my idea or my thinking was there, because usually I'd be a lot more passive instead of trying to be aggressive. Um, yeah, that, not, not as dominant as game two that Neo had to the game three that I had against him, but Bubbles was pretty much in full control of that entire match, and I got some hits in, and it, and it wasn't too, too one-sided, but uh, very very much in his favor. But he takes game number one. I'm like, okay, like I knew what I was getting myself into as soon as this match started. I felt like I did a decent enough job of avoiding the C assist, but his barrier, both with Z Broly and, and with Android 18, are what got him the W there for sure. I go for round start 5M, and then just as I bring it up in person or in real time, I get hit uh, in the past with the C assist. And uh, I mean, y'all know how I feel about C assist. We don't even need to harp on it too much. Barrier, I do nothing. Jump, avoid the command grab. I actually whiff. The Bardock catches his whip reflect for me, but I drop the combo. And he does an EX Lariat, brings in the Android 18, gets sliding knockdown off of this, calls medium 17, blocking, looking for a key blast here because he has no assist, but he doesn't, he just goes for barrier, so I EX flip out, and then try to raw tag because I obviously want the trunks just behind me, um, and CS is catching me slipping. So, that's going to be the trend you see here uh, in this game. First game, I feel like I didn't get caught by it too much. Third game, or second game, uh, yeah, that CSS was eating me alive. I, I hate CSS so much. I'm so poor at playing around them, and I feel like they're just a horrible addition to the game. Even even before I knew that I was bad at playing around them, and I had a... Sorry about that. I had to make a quick cut. OBS froze for a second. Don't know why. Maybe that was the universe trying to tell me to shut up and stop whining about CSS all the time. But yeah, I don't like them. I hate them. Ever since they were first introduced, I've always hated them. Anyway, going back. Uh, so he takes out my Bardock, and yeah, he's got 21 on point. Doesn't have any bar there, so he wasn't able to properly confirm off that beam that he got. Um, I super dash, which is super risky in, in any 
against any character really but uh, oh no well, that, that kind of lagged there for a second as well with the playback it looks like we're still fine so sync and everything um but yeah super dashing against lapco is honestly a death sentence but uh i did it anyway and i, and I did die for it using my own barriers here as, as much as i can get to clip by some key blasts and uh I don't know if he actually was trying to hit with the command grab or if he was going for some sort of cool vanish combo. Um, either way though, just, we're just super dashing and calling barriers back and forth. My jump back JH manages to find its mark and we convert with a combo to the corner. I just go straight into a level three here. I still have sparking, right? And I still have trunks. So this is still a very winnable match for me. I mean, this is a guess for character situation because this mix up is potent. I go for the... All right, look, look, I wish I could say, I wish I could say that I was just galaxy brain enough that I just went for a giant read. Just run up 2H. I, 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 I almost went, oh, just, I, I wish that I could say that I was galaxy brain enough that I just went for that read. It was a misinput. I was going for cross up jam and I, I messed up the input and I just slipped on the controller. Um, but it worked. <laughs> it worked. Um, for all the good it did me, I wasn't able to get the kill on 18 and then she gets out with all this blue life and uh, yeah. The mash there on the EX flip. I'm jumping out of the pressure, another EX flip my troubles, I'm whiffing. Not converting off any of these hits that I got. Reflect after the barrier. There it is, got the reflect bait, but I don't 5M punish. That happens so too, too often where I I bait out a reflect and I punish it with 2L or 5L. BD chains the future, uh, but I let him mash anyway. Blocking all the Broly pressure, looking out for a command grab, and there it was. I was, if I had just waited a couple of frames later to do what I did, I was just trying to get out of his pressure. I, I would have been right. I would have been able to kill Broly. Instead, uh, I get hit, and I end up dying with my sparking. Actually, I lived. Oh, I, th I thought I died here. Well, I'm sure you already realized by now how this ends. Drop the hit off the sparking mix, bait out the reflect, but go for the punish a little bit too early. Yeah, everything, and then, uh, you know. <sighs> Outdone by, my, by a couple of my own characters, and likes to see Broly, who is a character I cannot believe nobody's playing anymore because he's still so strong. He's not top five anymore, but he's still so strong. It's so annoying. But yeah, and thus uh, ended our our winner's run. And so we proceed on into the loser's bracket for the rest of the tournament, which you'll have to catch me in the next video for coverage of those games. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all the content I'm going to bring you. With all that being said, this much off today. And remember, nothing could happen to you. Swing the bat.